What is up guys and welcome back to Van Ram Farms. My name is Brian and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys um, our feeding process. I've seen a lot of you guys asking questions about our TMR and uh, how we manage all that. So here you guys go. At the end of all of our pens, all, you'll see these cement pads like the one here in this video. And uh, what these are for is to help us pick up the refusal from the cow. So refusal is the feed that the cow did not eat. And uh, by us cleaning this up, it helps us to keep track of how much the cow is eating. So that way we know if we need to add a little bit more or take off some from what they had in their feed the day before. Also, this ensures that the cow has fresh feed every day. And um, another little bonus is that we actually use this and feed our lower production cows. So typically in the morning, they'll go ahead and get a fresh batch. And then in the afternoon, it'll be mixed with some of the other ingredients. And this saves us a little bit of money by uh, go ahead and reusing that feed that otherwise would have gone to waste. This is also going to a small ranch that actually raises calves for beef. So we'll go ahead and sell some of this to them as well. None of this is going to waste. It's all being reused. And it's also ensuring that the cows have fresh feed. So here you guys see one of our custom silage trucks leaving our dairy. These drone shots and uh, as well as the GoPro footage that you guys are gonna see in the video. These were actually filmed a couple months back. It's just that I lost the footage of me uh, actually talking. So I'm sorry if it's a little confusing, guys. Yeah, so in our dairy, we have 21 pens. So it's quite a few. We make about 20 loads per day. And um, it's a pretty big process for us. Our setup is that we run two eight hours as well as our loader, which is a 624 John Deere. Together, they make a pretty good team. So the way that we do it is actually, we have two feeders. One will be driving the tractors while the other one's making the loads. That's why uh, you'll see one parked here. That's just to speed up the process of feeding that many cows. Since we are milking about 5,100 cows currently, and we have about, I uh, wanna say, 800 to 1,000 dry cows right now. So it's quite a bit of cows and it takes quite the team to do that and get it done. Okay guys, so I'm inside one of the eight hours that we use for feeding right now. We feed a total of five different rations and uh, there's a total of 30 ingredients. It's quite a bit for our guys to handle and um, we, that's why we use Easy Feed. So Easy Feed's a software that uh, makes the process pretty easy. We just set how much dry matter we want our cows to be fed and of how much are each ingredient. So here you can see our scale says 4250, so that's how much we need of brown corn. And here you can see our operator Juan starting to load it in. So as he's loading more and more, the scale's actually going down instead of increasing. And once it hits 200, it's gonna start beeping just to uh, indicate him or warn him that he's getting pretty close and uh, that way he tries to get as close as possible. So here you can see he's dumping. So he hit 200, starts beeping to warn him that he's getting pretty close. And that way he tilts the bucket a little bit less to try to get as close as possible. And as soon as he completes it, it actually switches on its own. So now I just switched over corn screens. So that's something that's pretty neat. And here you can see how he's going. So these are the ingredients that he's already added. And that's how close, if he's within 50 pounds of what he's supposed to be, it'll actually be green. So these right here, you can see on high, on ground corn, he was off by nine pounds. He, so, I mean, that's pretty close. Also, it looks like our second tractor just got back from dumping that second load, that other load. That's actually my dad right there, so. loading up all the ingredients that he needs now they go ahead and scoot over right here to where we have our weigh tanks and weighs a byproduct of making cheese 
So we use this for moisture as long as, as well as other other properties that are beneficial for the cow. And what they do, they'll just start up this pump right here. And it should start coming out. Yep, there you go. All right, guys, so we just finished up loading the whey. I'm here with my dad. Manda saludos para face. Hola. <laughs> um, he's going to drop off this load, and I decided just to tag along with him right here in the buddy seat. Uh, record a little bit of that as well. Under the palm trees in the California sun Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun I don't remember much from the night before Just from the human touch And now I want more Typically these loads are split between two pens So right now we're um, dumping on pen two And we're going to go over to pen three Which is that pen that you can see on the other side yeah, once he starts getting close, so right now we're at 1500, 1400, 1300. Uh, as soon as it starts getting closer, it's actually gonna start beeping. That way he gets as accurate as possible. It just, it's a warning basically. So yeah, we just finished up with pen two and he's gonna start reversing. It is kind of difficult, so it takes some skill to uh, go ahead and get this right. Our freestyle barns are pretty long, so to reverse all the way out is uh, something that takes some skill. But I mean, after time and experience, uh, you'll get it down pretty good. All right guys, so our feeders just went to lunch. So I think I thought it'd be a, a pretty good chance to explain a little bit more since it's a little bit quieter. Um, I did choose a pretty windy day today, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I did order a mic, so it should be coming pretty soon. So no more uh, bad sound quality. I'm here standing in one of our uh, paid barns. We have four of them. And in here we have our milk cow hay, our dry cow hay. We also have some decad, uh, Bermuda, what else? And some straw. So yeah, those are the five hays that we feed. And in this barn, there's also these pallets right here. So this is our mineral that we feed. So yeah, on here you can see all of our ingredients that go into our high premix. So this comes with straw, canola, DDG, cotton, gluten, bakery, uh, mineral, and megalac. Yeah, so by making premixes ahead of time, it's really cuts back on our uh, feeding time and uh, allows our feeders just to uh, go in and make some mixes a lot quicker. We do use a lot of uh, byproducts or uh, feed that otherwise would have gone to waste or into landfills. Uh, some of those include like our almond, almond haws. So the almonds itself come in a shell and that shell is inside of a haw as well. So I'll go ahead and look for a little diagram or something and see if you guys uh, post them in the video so it gets explained a little bit better. Another thing would be a uh, cotton seed. So once the cotton is harvested, they'll remove the cotton, the actual fibers that they use for clothes. And uh, the cotton seed would otherwise be thrown away, but we use it for our feed. Uh, like I said earlier, we do use whey, which is a byproduct from cheese. Um, there's bakery, which comes from uh, any, basically any tortilla or basically anything that's made out of bakery that would have been onto waste after we thrown it away. That's processed and then it's fed to the cows as well. We have DDG, dried distilled goods, which comes from um, producing ethanol out of corn. So yeah, that would have been another waste and we use it for feed as well. So I mean, there's lots of feeds that we use that otherwise would have ended up in a landfill or uh, would have gone thrown away. And these cows are able to digest that and uh, produce milk or meat at the end of their lives. And uh, so it's pretty incredible what these animals can do. Mm -hmm. 